All righty, could we get uh, Commissioner Thomas to lead our invocation, please? Dear Heavenly Father, we come here tonight to do the county's business and to work together for the common good. Please let us remember that, Lord. There's been several who have passed away in the community. Please bring comfort and relief to those people. And Jesus, just thank you for the gift of your salvation that you've given us. And let us not forget that. In Jesus' name. I'm gonna read the pledge. Read it. Okay. Okay. Pledge and allegiance to Pledge and allegiance to the flag of the, the United States of America, America. and to the Republic for which it stands, one state under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I'll see if we can get uh, Madam Clerk to please read our uh, take our roll call, please. Everybody at me. Tommy Belcher, yeah. Shane Burton, Alan Carmen, Grant Cochran, Brian Crook, Will Dennis, Jerry Ford, Here. Chris Gregory, Here. Bubba Gregory, Here. Landon Gully, Here. Richard Johnson. Here. Judy Kerr, Here. David Nolner, Here. Leslie Overman, Mark Presley, Here. Amber Russell, Here. Lonnie Taylor, Here. David Thomas, Here. Steve Whitaker. Here. 17 present, three absent. Okay, thank you. So the minutes for the April 22nd meeting are in your packets. If there is any changes that needs to be made, uh, if not, we'll take a motion to approve. Mm -hmm. Motion and second. Got it. Thank you. All righty. Uh, announcements. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Thursday, May 30th, Tennessee Corrections Institute will have a presentation for the commission. The meeting. Oh, take a voice vote. I'm sorry. My bad. All right. So we take a vote for approving the minutes. All, all in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Okay, now, I'm sorry, I skipped ahead there a bit. So we're going to talk about May 30th. The Tennessee Corrections Institute will have a presentation for the commission. The meeting is scheduled for Thursday, May 30th at 6 p.m. here at the courthouse. Um, that I guess that's to go over the uh, jail, all the details on the jail. Okay, gotcha. And then uh, we'd like to offer our uh, condolences to the families for uh, Mayor McCall, Will Dennis, and then the Russell family, please. Okay. Are there any other announcements that need to be made? Okay. So we're going to set the agenda per the work session uh, updated item on 11B.2 to uh, to River Valley. Uh, is Rosalie here? Uh, the uh, discrepancy on River Valley. If you would please just update your agenda to say River Valley Drive that has been uh, substantiated through the county road list, also 911 commission. Thank you. Thank you. So added discussion on the property in Providence, Providence uh, to come up as item 12A. And then uh, let's see if there's anybody, has anybody signed in this evening to speak yet? Or later? Okay, thank you. Okay, do we have a mayor's report, Mr. Mayor? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I need to set the agenda. I I got lost on my notes here. Second. Second, all right, gotcha. All in favor, please say aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Okay, the mayor's there, that's set. Uh, again, I moved. I kind of got lost in my notes here. They're, they're on both sides of the paper. You have to excuse me, uh, Mr. Mayor. Do you have a county mayor's report at all? I just I just wanted to express my deep appreciation to members of the commission for your 
many, many kindnesses, kind words. Uh, it's it's the, the last two weeks have been overwhelming, but a part of that being overwhelmed is is a response from from friends. So I, I want to thank all of you for for lifting me up and get me through this. Uh, we do have a couple of significant grants that are coming through, and we'll be talking about that at the next work session but tonight. Uh, that's my report. Thank you. Okay, so at this point, we're going to do committee and board reports here. So we'll start with the finance committee. Uh, Commissioner Gully, do you have any reports for us? Oh, yes, sir. I was waiting for a quick flash, and I apologize. Um, so as we're looking at this report, let's do keep in mind, this is the, just the regular finance report. Um, we will get into the finance uh, budget hearings reports into June. We, uh, scheduling wise did not get those completed. So that will come in June. Um, we will also discuss in that the, uh, sort of the time frame laid out and an outline of how that budget would look uh, at that point. So, uh, on, on the 20th last Monday night, we met on um, at 6 p.m. here. Um, <clears throat> we had uh, all but two present, and in the uh, we looked over trustees' cash balance, um, which uh, all was taken with a favorable recommendation. Uh, county monies were um, pretty strong, still gaining uh, a decent interest rate uh, on some CDs that are uh, that money has as you remember, was rolled into the 151, which is debt service for the, the uh, some of those monies that were uh, on the new interest rates, which just rolled over, uh, hopefully helping out that uh, payment uh, of interest for the county on the uh, last two notes that were taken out. Um, <clears throat> the next was the financial summaries, uh, looking at expenditures and revenues up and uh, through the uh, uh, 10th month. And so, uh, as we look through those, of course, we had to keep in mind that the uh, sales tax always comes in a month late, uh, but revenues were looking pretty strong. Um, all of our, um, your property tax looked very strong, came in uh, as hoped in revenue. Uh, of course, remind, remind everyone we budgeted at 92%. So when you see 102%, that just means you got your 92 plus a little bit. It doesn't mean you got 100% uh, in at that point. So make sure everyone has that understanding on those pieces. Uh, but the financial summaries reports look strong. Uh, there was uh, a few discussions on overtime again, uh, but it, 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 there's some things that we're starting to learn and understand uh, about the overtime pays uh, that might be causing and driving some of those pieces. Um, <clears throat> financial summaries were approved. There is a highway services correct uh, uh, items, which is your tonight. Uh, it's $113,550 that's moving along in the highway funds. That is a, uh, give me a second here and I'll make sure I, I apologize. I've pulled the wrong one uh, that I'm reading. Uh, my apologies entirely. Backing up again. Well, I've grabbed the wrong piece of paper somewhere out of my back. My apologies. It I have, happens. I have a few sheets. It looks like I grabbed the wrong sheet when I left this afternoon, maybe because I'm not seeing my other. Uh, with that stated, um, tonight uh, on your uh, finance committee, we do have, yeah, there it is. I'm sorry. I was right on the number 113,000. Nope. Yep, sorry. We'll get there in a minute, y'all. Uh, $113,550, which was uh, approved. Uh, that's a that's in the highway funds. That's not county monies. That's their, their transfers of money inside their fund. Uh, remember that the county only funds a little over $100,000 to the highway department. Uh, it's actually all out of 111. Uh, it's a, um, a maintenance of effort piece that was done some years ago, and we just have to continue it. Um, so when you see this money, that is not coming out of a, a fund balance draw uh, that is inside their department money. It was approved. Favorable recommendation. Um, maintenance and repair to the school buildings, $141, $17,000 was also approved uh, with a favorable recommendation. My apologies for the discrepancies there tonight, but that is 
where we were. And at that point, um, everything uh, that is on the table for this month is favorable for my committee. Thank you. I personally would like to thank the members of the Finance Committee for all their diligence and work at this time of the year. I know it puts you in the hot seat, and it's a lot of hours, and it takes a lot of energy and effort. I personally appreciate it tremendously. So uh, we're going to move on. Is there any committees that need to announce a meeting this for, to be arranged for June? David, Commissioner Thomas? Codes and zoning will meet uh, June 6, uh, 7 p.m. at the mayor's office. we have any other committees that are going to be meeting in June? Oh, Amber, I'm sorry, I couldn't see your finger. Commissioner? Uh, yeah, if we could do EMS on the 10th at 6 p.m., right before the Planning Commission in here. Sixth, uh, what was it again? The 10th. Got it. Do we have any other uh, committees that have any meetings they'd like to schedule or announce? We have. Uh, yeah. I, I, Mark, I'm sorry. Uh, Commissioner Gregory, I didn't see you over there. Do you? Uh, we may have a public works on the 13th, but I, I need to talk to Cliff to see we need, it says tentatively, maybe the 13th or public works at 6 o'clock. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, Commissioner Presley, if you got something. We'll have a personnel meeting. Uh, we'll determine it tonight after the meeting for the date. Would June the 18th, would June the 18th uh, work, Mr. Presley? That's a Tuesday. Not a Tuesday. How about that Thursday on the 20th? Will that work? Is there any reason that would conflict? That's good. So it's Thursday the 20th? June the 20th. Okay. Do we have any other um, any other meetings we need to talk about being scheduled? Um, Six o'clock. Okay. We'll move on. All righty. Active business. Um, we're good. It looks like we're moving forward to resolutions. So we're, this is going to be resolution 2024-07801. It's to authorize the mayor's office to apply for the Blue Cross Blue Shield Healthy Places grant. This is a non-matching grant that, if rewarded, will focus on items from the 2019 master plan for the park. Those things are going to include the walking trails, lighting for the trails, refurbishing the basketball and tennis courts, as well as implementing pick a pickleball and volleyball courts. I'm sorry, yes, we need a motion and a second on that. So we got a motion and a second right there. We got it. Okay. Thank you. Is there any, sorry? Uh, we got Commissioner Gregory and then, yeah, no, we've got uh, Chris right here. We've got the second. Yes. Is there any discussion on this? Commissioner Gregory? I just want to say the Public Works Committee has discussed this in length and Again, you know, like the Mr. Chairman said, it's it, it's no match on the county's part, you know, but would allow for a significant upgrades to the park that are part of the master plan that we came up with a few years ago. And correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the lady who helped write the Red Bull and Springs grant to redo their park is is, is helping us with this. So correct, our committee is very excited about it and very strongly support this. Thank you. Is there any other discussion uh, discussion on this? Anybody? All righty. So we're going to uh, have an electronic vote on this, please. So when she's ready.
We're moving on to budget amendment am amendments. They begin on page 30. So we have two amendments for your consideration tonight. Neither amendment pulls from fund balances, therefore the ordinances. I had the wrong side of the notes again. Sorry, it's my fault. It's, don't hate. All righty, so we're going to go to ordinances, and we'll come back to that later. Uh, public hearing, uh, second reading, ordinance 304-2024-04. Uh, this is the rezoning of the property located at 6460 Highway 231 North if to, to form a combination of A1-C1 to C1 commercial. And it says, uh, at this point, we're going to open the floor for any uh, public hearing concern on this property or Nope. Okay. Nobody's here. So, Miss Rosalie. Um, here we are again with this. Um, so that we have we talked about this about two point three dollars. That it has moved over from the piece of property that we'd like to have. It's been filling many places to the different properties. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Gully. Did we close public hearing? No, not yet. Most is that part of the public hearing? Well, she was. I think she was just clarifying any loose ends on. Motion to close public hearing. Motion to second to close public hearing. All righty. So we're going to take a voice vote on this. It says so. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion carried. All right, we're gonna we're now gonna hold the second reading for ordinance 304 2024 04. Uh, is there any uh, anybody have any outstanding questions about this? Okay, Mr. Gully. All righty, we have a motion to approve and a second. Okay. All right, this is an electronic vote. Okay, Richards, then come on again. It might need to be re that plug might need to be reseated on. So has everybody voted? That, yeah, we have everybody. Um, Mr. Johnson, how do you vote on this? She's going to have to write it down. Okay, yes. Okay. That has everybody on. So with everybody voting right now, we have uh, 17 yes, zero so abstain, and zero no, so the motion passes. All righty, so now we're going to move on. First reading for Ordinance 305, 2024-05, it's rezoning R2 to R3 River Valley. So the, this uh, rezoning of this property located at 680 River Valley Drive from R2 to R3 is a multifamily residential uh, this is the first reading of this concerning this property, uh, Ms. Mahan. Would you uh, do you have anything you need to add to summarize this? Just to um, support the planning commission did uh, give this a favorable recommendation based on looking at the zoning, and it should be in your packet as well. The zoning across River Street does have several R three properties, which do allow for multifamily dwellings. Okay. We have a motion from the body on this. Motion to approve. Okay, thank you very much. Anybody have any discussion on this? Commissioner Thomas. So in looking about the address myself, um, it looks like all the deeds read court and the post office reads court the only thing that I found drive was talking with Ms. Rosa Lee that those county roads at the list for the road department says drive. So do we need to, at a later date, have a, an ordinance to revert that back to court? Um, 
Or, I mean, do we have all the deeds changed, the post office changed to drive, to be consistent? Please. We approve our county road list. We're gonna go with a county road list. No changes need to be made to any deeds. We couldn't do that anyways. That's for the landowner to do. We don't have that authority. Copy that. Any other discussion? From anybody? that the post office is part of the 911 commission and they said that it is drive so they're aware thank you so at this point we're going to take a uh, an electronic vote do we have we had a motion uh, first and the second would be uh mr whitaker there You okay with it or no? I know we got to re we got to reseat the plug on that. We got to power cycle it. So, are, how do you vote? How do you vote on this ordinance? The rezoning. Okay. All right. So everybody's vote that voted they can. We've got seventeen yes, and zero abstain, zero no. So again, we pass on this. Thank you. So now we can talk about uh, budget amendments. Yeah, I, I'm on the right page now. Thank you. So uh, we have two amendments for your consideration this evening. Uh, neither amendment pulls from fund balances. Therefore, these can be taken into in one motion if that's the will of the body. Okay. I've got a, a Chris Gregory and uh, Landon Gully. It's first and second. Okay. All righty. So. Ready for a vote on this one, please? Here we go. Yes. People. Thank you. So everybody votes and entitled to vote. We have 17 yes, zero abstain, and zero no, so it passes. So we move on now to uh, notaries. Ms. Rita was kind enough to give us a list for this. So we have Angela Blackwell, ODL Incorporated, Shelby Lee with First National Bank, uh, Jacqueline Hodge with Landmark Financial, Lacey Davis with All Around Incorporated. We have Lakeisha Brooks, self-employed, and then we have Tamara Wright at the U.S. Postal Service. So we have any discussion on this? We'll take uh, we have a motion approved. Motion approved. We have a second. Amber Russell, thank you. Well, I guess we're going to take a voice vote on this one. So all in favor, please say aye. Any opposed? Motion carries, thank you. So we move on to number 12 here, other business. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, Councilor Beller here if he'd like to uh, speak on this, update on this matter, as far as the Providence Community Center. Last week, I uh, uh, handed out a packet to everybody. If you didn't get it, I'll be happy to. Um, well, actually, uh, Ms. Thomas did. Uh, email that was a letter from David Bass explaining that there was an option on a piece of property that we, we have as a reser reservation for a polling place. Um, there is a church that wants to buy this piece of property, and but the question becomes whether or not the county commission would be willing to relinquish their option to do this. You should have all the information to look over. Uh, during the work session, what we had done was we had decided that uh, to, to had the discussion about whether or not uh, Mr. Bass needed to come. He said he could at our next work session to provide more information if the county commission wanted to hear from him on that. I know that, that uh, from what I was told, 
we don't currently use that as a polling station and uh and and i also understand that we haven't done for quite some time that doesn't mean we will in the future we do have that option they just want to be able for the county commission to vote to relinquish that to go forward with their sale it affects their title it affects their their interest in the property um so that's what it amounts to uh he did want to i did speak with him today he said he could be here on the 17th to discuss this further if anybody had any further questions uh, that was basically it you don't have to take any action right now uh and uh, you can um this could be uh set over to the next meeting to discuss i figured you may want to have more information than what we had previously had uh, s submitted to you, so you have all the details. Commissioner Gulley. In the event that we uh, try to, with to retain our um, polling option there, what are the legalities if, if uh, for the county might be facing if we try to retain and their buyers back out or something of that nature are there legalities on that piece no it's part of the it's part of the the deed so it's it's there now to, to say whether or not that could language couldn't be changed around uh, uh, that's something that i would assume mr bass wants would have to be able to answer depending upon what the bot the will of this body is but we have that we have it right now so thanks sir That's right. Uh, just to restate what I mentioned last week during work session, uh, and actually, it, according to the information Ms. Thomas sent out, we have a right of first refusal on the property and the ability to use it as a polling station. I'm I'm fine with us giving up the right of first refusal, which I think he was asking as well. But I I, I prefer to see us hang on to that the ability to use that as a polling station, just because that you know, when 141 expansion completes that area of the county is, is going to grow significantly and it, it, even though we don't use it now it might be helpful to us to have a polling station down that way 15 years 20 years down the road all righty we don't do we have anybody from the there's nobody from the public here would like to make any public comment Go ahead, Miss. How much is that property worth? How much would it? How much is he going to sell it? I don't know anything about the transaction. I just relayed the information. The only way in order for that right of first re refusal and that option to be addressed is through this county commission. You're you're the ones that have to make that decision. Uh, Mr. Bass would be in a position to maybe answer that question. Uh, As Mr. Gregory was saying, that area is going to grow. I do not know what is available around there. Mr. Nonner mentioned we might would need a fire department in that area. I do not know the area. I can't pinpoint it in my mind just something to think about before we up and vote. Thank you. Ms. Roland Lee. Thank you. Um, just to let you know that there have been multiple permits pulled from this area. A lot of land has been tracked up in large lots. And I know for a fact, just this year alone, I've done at least 15 permits just this year. And in prior years, at least 20 to 30 per year. So this is a very, very growing area and it could support a polling place. Just want to keep that in mind. Thank you. Like, he, like uh, Mr. Beller stated though, we're not going to take any action on this this evening. Uh, it's just for your information uh, and we'll go cover this in the next work session. Okay, then, uh, at this point in time, uh, take a motion to adjourn. Oh. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't do, see you. Do we need to take any action to ask him to be here, Mr. Bass, to be here on that work session, or is he just willing to be here? He asked me today about, and I told him that uh, 
we have a work session in our, and I advise that it was probably not best to come to the 24th, given the magnitude of the things that we have. So uh, he opted for the 17th to be present and he could answer any questions that this body had. Chris Gregory. Yeah, just um, wanted to ask with the uh, uh, the codes and zoning committee meeting next month. Uh, during the budget hearings, uh, some dis some discussion was had on the the county's current impact fees. Um, so I would just like to ask that that committee maybe take a look at those and whether those need need adjusting or not. that is there any other discussion on this matter? with no further uh, questioning or anything like that then what we'll do is we'll take a motion to adjourn jerry ford and amber russell there we go thank you everybody and sorry for being so disheveled here but i was reading on the wrong side of the page half the night <laughs>